What's up, everybody? Brian, BH35 Sports Cards, uh, doing Bowman Chrome Hobby Case Number Seven, uh, 2017. Bowman Chrome Hobby Case Number Seven. These are your teams. Thank you, everybody that joined. I appreciate it. Good luck to you. too well and a run will score to tie the game well it's a good job by Didi Gregorius as the ball looks like it kind of takes a funny hop on him the ball's hit off the bat off the end of the bat a little bit and it definitely hops up and Didi stays with it he doesn't rush himself he just makes sure he gets off a good throw knowing they're gonna have no chance to double up Buxton who simply runs too well getting down that line but a good job of getting the force out as the Twins tie this score. Fielder's choice RBI for Buxton. First and third, two down, tied at four. The batter Jason Castro, who struck out his first time up. Buxton, of course, a threat at first. All right. Good luck, guys. Twins could play this a number of different ways. They can just play it straight, let Castro hit. They can send Buxton on a straight steal. They can try to steal a run and maybe have to start to second and well, you can stop his eyes to try to come home double steal. Yeah, Robertson will bury his deliveries to home plate. If he goes with that big kick, look for Buxton to take off. There he goes. And he takes it easily. What's up, Altoona, Mike? stolen the bases during the season and Sanchez never even came up with this one cleanly to have a chance to make a throw. Well and now with that runner on third base and Robertson with that outstanding curveball if he does at some point in this at bat get to two strikes that becomes a factor because Robertson would love to have the ability the threat of bouncing a breaking ball at some point. Two old breaking balls swing and a miss. And this is when we talked about the lack of depth that we saw from both starting pitchers tonight. David Robertson right now showing exactly what a breaking ball should do. You see it in the zone and just watch it fall underneath the bat right here of Castro. It's a beautiful pitch and that's the breaking <coughs> ball that's been missing in this game so far. Right back to it, two and two. job by Robertson. Twins do get one. Tied at four. Going to the bottom of the third. Did you see uh, Deshaun Watson blow up this weekend? I was, uh, kid is a leader. He knows how to win, too, man. I don't understand why people aren't higher on him. Everything in life was like Vizio Smartcast. 
Discovering the best content would be simple and easy. <laughs> yeah, because they make good decisions. How's Miles Garrett doing? Experience with USAA has been excellent. They always refer to me. Has he even played yet? They really appreciate the military family, and it really shows. We've had auto insurance, homeowners insurance. I had an accident with the vehicle. I actually called USAA before. All right, here we go. Bryson Brigman. Lou Shimmer. Nice. Fancy. It's 150. Matula. Get your insurance quote today. Double Lugo. AZ card, man. Finally got him. Diamondbacks. Ethan Diaz, Brewers. Gohara. Tyler O'Neill and a green Miguel Cabrera hiding behind him. 46 out of 99. Max Pavse. Buckle up. Purple to 250. Tied at four. Go to the bottom of the third. Yet another new pitcher. Rookie right hander Jose Barrios into the game. Castillo. For the well, the future ace of this Six toe Sanchez. Blue for the Phillies. On in a huge spot here. Fastball mid 90s. Dan G. To 150. Curveball and he'll throw about 30% of the time. He'll also mix in occasional changeup. Three pitch. Mix. Nick Banks, Washington. And now the Twins would love to get. Some significant innings out of him and get them through the middle innings here. Jimenez. Still on Tate. Take a look at the shift that. Jimmy Schultz, purple. Here against the power hitting right handed hitter for the Yankees. Asuna. Sanchez, who popped up his first time up. Jose De Leon for the Rays. And he's quickly out front of a two on Sanchez. Baller Skirp. Green Otto. Nice. Puerto Rico made 25 starts for the Twins. Wonder Javier Refractor pitched once in relief last week. Sweeping breaking ball down and away. Pitch for Puerto Rico in the WBC prior to the season did not start the regular season with the Twins came up and made his debut in May and at times was electrified. Jesus terrific arm as a dejected Urban Santana Torres looks on from the dugout. Blue Shimmer, Ahmed Rosario. Chance Adams. And Sanchez into second base with a lead off. Vladimir Gutierrez for the Reds. SB forever. Joe Jimenez. Paul Sanchez DeJong. I mean, he gets this a little bit out in front, but Craig Bird. see that power with his lower half. And even though he opens up that front side to prepare for that inside fastball with two strikes, he hits it into the gap for a double. Omar picking up the Rockies in uh, number nine. Thank you. Here's Omar. D.D. Gregorius brought the crowd to its feet in an instant. As he hit a home run to back in the first inning, a three-run shot that tied the game. At that point, it was 3-3. Ah, uh, Dan is not logged into the room. There's so many people watching that aren't logged in. Nobody, everyone's antisocial these days. Two weeks ago, September the 19th. Went three and a third, he gave up three runs on five hits, walked four, struck out four. Paul Molitor said he hoped that for his young players, the fact that they played here just two <laughs> weeks ago might help them get acclimated. Although, of course, this is the postseason, so everything is magnified. How you been, Clay? Burrios, the late action on the fastball, and you can see why he's had some problems with command. Panthers look good this weekend. That pitch will move. They'll have a lot of movement. Trying to work him away. And 
with two strikes here. Gregorius would like to pull the ball to the right side if nothing else. This is a chance maybe to climb the ladder with the fastball or bounce a breaking ball. Choking up again. Bound it back. Looks like he just looked out to the scoreboard right now, wanted to check the velocity on that fastball from Barrios, and it was 96. That's five autos out of the first two yeah, boxes. And, and that shows that he can spoil and cover that pitch away and still react if he does try and flip a breaking ball in there. But I think it's a chance for the Twins, for Castro, for Barrios. It's still a one-two count to climb the ladder to see if he can get him to chase something up and out of the zone. Again, the one-two. <sighs> Tailgating in Baltimore. That's one that Gregorius would want back. Again, he got way too much of the plate with the Barrios out in front. Uh, Starlin Castro waits on deck. I want to go tailgating. Just show up at the stadium by myself. Go find some people. What's up, guys? You guys look cool. Let's hang out. I brought some beer. And burgers. You got a grill? Through this kind of rebuilding situation for the Yankees, all the while building up the farm system, but still remaining competitive and giving themselves a chance with a great bullpen and obviously the emergence of some young super superstars, Judge, Sanchez, and despite his struggles tonight, Luis Severino at the top of this rotation. for the first out of the inning. What do you think of McCaffrey? Gregorius makes his way back to the dugout, and that'll bring out Starlin Castro, the former Chicago Cub, a 300 hitter on the season. And again, look at the offense the Yankees get out of the middle infield. We've talked about Gregorius Castro, a very competent offensive player as well on the DL a couple of times. Missed about seven, eight weeks of the season. Jonathan the two Arauz. The Yankees, the Twins can make the same <laughs> Totally how you say it. When everybody's healthy, both of these Butchered. lineups are Sorry, really kid. deep. And they get a Romero. lot of offense from everybody on the field. Yeah, Castro. Sixto Sanchez, base on him. 300 average you mentioned in just 112 games. Poor Seager refractor. So, always been a guy that's racked up hits. But if you make a mistake, the ability to hit the ball out of the ballpark as well. The rookie Barrios. Austin Riley Blue. Coming in here in the Braves. third inning for Urban Santana as he misses low with the breaking ball. Green Chris Paddock. Padres. Santana said yesterday his first win in this ballpark would be tonight. It was not made Dan to be G. two innings, four runs, short night for the Twins ace during the regular season. So you wonder why, you know, in a one-game situation, remember, yeah. wins this game. when him and Curtis Samuel get out there together, and really start getting involved in the offense, it's going to be dangerous. Easton Diaz, purple. This one has gone sideways on both managers. Garrett Hampson. And they both had to do very Griffin Jacks the for the Twins. I mean, they may have to do a whole lot of more unconventional things before this game is over. As Castro to a knee after that foul ball. Yeah, third inning and fifth pitcher. Romero. Another good two-seam fastball. Hugo. Rios there running in on the hands. Kind of ties up Castro. As he Purple, Jamison Fisher. Instep there or the ankle. Soroka. Adam Duvall, now purple. Castro, the Reds. one thing is, he's a bit of a free swinger. And now Gage Hines. Position, Fractor again, auto for the Pirates. Count for Barrios, an opportunity to expand the strike zone and get him to swing at your pitch. Fisher. Through four. Second one out, tied at four, bottom of the third. I like the Panthers. I hope they do well. Yeah, he 
got him. Chased one in the dirt, slider down and away, back-to-back -back strikeouts for Barrios. And that's the best place to go with Castro. He loves the ball down in the zone, so that's where he's looking. And he's not a guy that's going to walk a lot. He will chase, and with this breaking ball, he starts it down, but then he spikes it. We've seen that depth of the pitch, but for Castro, he's almost the perfect victim for this because you see with his two-strike approach there, he's just trying to spoil something low in the zone where usually he has a ton of success, but he can't get the one that's bouncing in the dirt. Yeah, I don't know about the Lions yet. I mean... ...stick your fastball inside and throw it to the corner, and he got a swing prior. And it, it speeds up that hitter a little bit and makes them vulnerable. I'm not sure what they are. ...breaking stuff in the dirt. Here's Greg Curry, the first baseman who walked his first time up. Uh, orders are due actually in a couple weeks. Or cards are due in a couple weeks. Yeah, so if you've got anything, uh, send it in. If you hit something in a break, you want me to hold it to the side. I can do that. If he can stay healthy, that's been a big problem for him in his brief career in the majors. He looks like a guy who could put up some serious numbers in this part. You guys think this baseball game is going to extra innings? Or somebody going to pull away here? You don't want to just come right down the middle with a fastball with that short porch and Bird's power. Line into right field of base hit. Sanchez around third getting the wave. Dude can move for a catcher. You got anything you want to set in, Peter? So much talk at the trade deadline. Would they go out and get a first baseman? The health question surrounding Bird. But I think the Yankees bet on what they believe is eventually a really good hit. <laughs> it's like they're just kind of keeping him there because they don't have any room in the outfield for him. Wally, how many are left? 18? I'm not sure. Either tonight or tomorrow night. I would love to tell you yes with confidence. How many we got left? Hicks grounding out his first time up. 18, and the big ones are still there. Crowd buzzing again here in the Bronx is the Oh, damn, dude. That's going to be sick. Orange Shimmer, Jamie Schultz. If you're Paul Molitor, with Barrios nice. being a starter during the season, if he's pitching effectively. You'd love to get some length out of him. You don't want to start mixing and matching unless you have Michael to. Michael Kopech, White Sox. But again, the Twins have 11 pitchers on the roster. The Yankees have 10. A lot of arms for both managers. Coach K with the White Sox. And, you know, Dan, unless it gets completely Derek Jeter. away from Barrios, yeah. I, I'm riding him through the middle innings. I, I think he's their best option right now to have the potential to get it to the back end of this bullpen. Brian Anderson, 70th good. Josh Sports, Dodgers, Refractor Auto. You know, it's one thing if you're a rookie or any kind of a young player, but especially a rookie who's never pitched in the postseason or played in the postseason, it's one thing to make your debut in a game one of a series. But it's yet another thing, especially as a pitcher. Freddie game, Freeman, blue. Playoff debut in a winner take all one game situation yeah. in half the pressure can't get much bigger than that it, it, it's a great point i mean this is this brandon is marsh purple seven, yeah. right? 
purple shimmer. And if either one of these teams were to advance and, and, and Diaz, play in a Dodgers. World Series, they'll face no bigger, no more pressure pack situation. Yeah. Rowdy Tellez. Experience tonight, especially if this game remains close into the later innings. Paul Molitor had a line a couple of days ago. He said, the analogy he's used is it's kind of like at the end of a, in college basketball when you get to the tournament at that point freshmen aren't freshmen anymore they've played a season are rookies still rookies but when they get into the postseason for the first time here in the baseball Brett Phillips this is be a tough play. This is be purple cool. Nick Sensel Well, a ways to go with this one, and you'll have a chance to catch. Congratulations, you are due to receive a Chrome rookie autograph of. And the Diamondbacks, you can see it on TBS, you can hear it on Bradley's ESPN Radio, where you can hear each and every game of the postseason right through to the conclusion of the World Series. Only white one I've seen is. Uh, for the Rockies and Zach Greinke for the Diamondbacks. Bellinger. Two good stories over on the National League side. Manny Margo Green having much better years than they did a year ago. And, and a great a, a great pitching match. Zach Granke against John Gray. And it's obviously two teams very familiar with each other playing in the same I division. Times. They, yeah. they share a spring training facility. Sorry, Hunter. Training facility. <laughs> and then you're meeting up in the postseason. I'm going tomorrow night as a fan just to enjoy it and it should be a great atmosphere in downtown Phoenix. Five four Yankees two on two out meeting on the mound over here's Jacoby Ellsbury hit a fly ball to center field his first time up. Five runs six hits for the Yankees four runs five hits for the Twins five pitchers have appeared in this game already. Frankie V going a little ham. And we're in the third. Case eight White Sox case nine. White Sox and Rangers HTA Rangers and White Sox. The resurgence got some movement for Ellsbury the final month of the season get more opportunities to play the patience has been excellent on base percentage of over 400 in the month of September Popped up, maybe a play for well hopefully we see another one and he'll make the catch to win the inning Yankees will leave a couple of men on but they do get a run and they get a 5-4 lead in the three Frankie V, what up, brother? Uh, because Bowman Chrome always sucks. And they're trying to trick people into thinking it doesn't. This year, I like it a lot. The vending box boxes last year were weird, but an improvement. Andy. Not bad. Not bad. We just started, so oh well. We've done uh, what? Half a case. Nothing mind blowing yet. It's a nice color.
for Yankees going to the top of the fourth moments ago our Buster only had a chance to speak with Twins manager Paul Molitor. First off, all the ties, all the lead changes early. What's it been like to manage this game so far? Uh, a lot's happened in three innings. You know, we came out, top of the inning, first was exciting. <coughs> a little deflating there, though, in the bottom half. Uh, both starters out of the game, uh, back and forth. You know, I'm proud of our guys the way we've come out early, but we got a lot of work to do. Obviously, trailing here going Purple early. Rowdy to Liz. Purple Jose Shimmer. Marias, how long do you want to ride him? We'll see how he does. You know, I think he settled in there and obviously get behind Bird there. And he got a Green Wander Javier. Nice. But I like his stuff. Uh, we got Twins. a lot of pitches out there, so we'll just have to see how it goes. Paul, thanks. Paul Molitor in his third year as manager of the John Minnesota Duplantier. Twins. And a Hall of Famer. EP. For younger fans who may not have, have seen couple him. A couple of Sabe. Leagues for Paul Molitor. 15 of them with Milwaukee, then three in Toronto, including where he won a World Series and was the MVP of the World Series in 1993 and then finished up three years with the Twins. He's a Minnesota native as well now managing the Twins 10th all-time guys in hits 3,319. And the last time he was in a postseason game was Purple getting a Yaleski hit Yarel. ahead of Joe Carter. <laughs> the famous Joe Carter home run. Yep. Paul Molitor, Alfredo Rodriguez Reds. Robbie Grossman he loves the junk paper. Aaron Judge refractor. Nice. Yeah. Both Paul Molitor and Joe Girardi, their deals are up at the end of this season. Yeah, Paul Molitor is going to be a, a guy that's up for manager of the year. Both of these guys will be up for that. And, and you know that that's something that's going to happen within the organization. They're going to want both of them back because of the season. The two very different. I mean, Paul Molitor being able to turn Trent around Clark, this blue. team was last year to this year and Joe Girardi ahead of schedule a very young team that wasn't expected to probably be here Ryan Dozier let off the ball Jose the home run the first struck out of the Azokar. Azokar. Jose Azokar. sorry trying Ryan to Dozier hit his sound it out Sonny Gray season, and we've seen more and more out of that leadoff spot having a guy up there that can put the game up with an exclamation point. The George Springers of the Astros, you, you think about so many times now that you see these power guys up at the top. Dozier doing that tonight. Bellinger. No balls, two strikes on Dozier. Ryan O'Hearn. Purple Shimmer. Runs this year, 42 last year. Valoria Swinging for the Royals. The third baseline, he's got himself a hit. Top notch with the Roy uh, the Royals. So, uh, the Royals. For Dozier. <laughs> Let me ask you guys with Robertson out of the mound. Chad Green's already coming and gone. Here's Robertson. Came on in the third. Now he's on in the fourth. If this game stays close, tie one run either way, whatever. Is it inevitable that either Sonny Gray or CeCe Sabathia is going to have to come into the game, or do the Yankees have enough when you consider Warren and Canely, in addition to Betances and Chapman, do they have enough to do it with just relievers? They probably have enough if it goes perfectly from here on out, but <laughs> this game's been anything but perfect. So for the Yankees, Sonny Gray's on the roster, CeCe Sabathia's on the roster. Tanaka's not, Montgomery's not, Garcia's not. They're not. And of course, Severino, he's gone. He got just one out to him. Gave up a couple of homers, three runs in the first. Joe Maurer's over two. And Brian Dozier over there with good speed. At first, 16 stolen bases on the year. And you saw for the first time Robertson. Go with the slide step there. He will mix that in along with the big kick. So if Dozier, as we saw with Buxton last inning, if he picks up that leg high, that's a time when the Twins will try and run. If he goes with the slide step, they've got to shut it down, especially considering how well Sanchez throws. Loves to start. Bauer takes a strike. Second 
go round with the Yankees and absolutely sensational since he was acquired back from the White Sox. Here's a ground ball to short. The second one on to first in time. Good stretch over there by Bird. And let's see, Paul Molitor. They're having a look, or at least they're considering having a look. They're on the phone. Paul Molitor has said to the umpires, hang on a sec. We may ask for a review of this play. Well, it's a great scoop by Bird. He needed to stretch, but it was also a tough kind of in-between hop that Castro didn't get a lot on the ball, which makes it even more difficult to scoop that at first base as we get a great look at it here, and he's out. And they decide not to have a look. Double play will end the inning. Boom. Keep it going. We're almost done here. Omar, Reds, and HTA. He's on to 13 or 14 in HTA. Just choose your seafood, choose your flavor, and pop it in the oven. Public seafood cooking bag dinners. Eight in hobby, number eight. 15 in HTA. Khalil Lee, Purple Shimmer, Royals. Alicantin. Anthony K for the Mets. Purple, I'll roll this Chapman. But I'm not afraid to push back. Rockies in HTA for Omar. Thank you, brother. Welcome. How's it going? Hi. Okay, so you've got two friends here. Yes. Ona. This is the JD Power Award for dependability. Now I want you to give it to the friend that you think is most dependable. Oh. Wow. It's just not fair. Does she have to? She doesn't have to. Oh, yeah. You know, but it's a tough choice, isn't it? Yes. Well, luckily, Chevy makes it a little easier because it's the only brand to earn JD Power dependability. Did he really? For cars, trucks, and SUVs, two years in a row. That's amazing. Chevy's a name you can trust. He's not one you hear a lot about. <laughs> no wonder you can't sleep. Your car is a mess. Bryson Sleeping Brigman, purple. Heard of. And it's going to cost you a fortune. When life keeps you up, Zequel helps you fall asleep in less than 20 minutes. Because sleep is a beautiful thing. We have a change for the Twins going to the bottom of the fourth. Zach Granite has taken over in center field for Byron Buxton. Just speculation, waiting for confirmation. Concussion but was down for a while after making that catch. And you can see he was an obvious Jack Gold. discomfort. Jamie after Schultz. Making that play, that yeah, was Norm Schimmer him earlier, too. He did come up and hit in the third. Reached on a fielder's choice, stole the base, but perhaps whatever the issue was got worse. Between Albert Abreu, Bowman, Chrome, Sensation. And again, we're going to try to get information for you, but... 14 out of 50. For the Twins, Buxton out of the game. Game, I believe it's really hurting him if he had to come out of the game. Last thing he wanted to do was to have to leave. Here's Todd Frazier. Lead off the bottom of the fourth against Barrios. And it's his fastball move. What a clean one thing up last inning. I mistakenly called Barrios a rookie. He is not a rookie. He made 14 starts for the Twins last year. Exceeded the rookie limits. And... So I should not have called him a rookie. Very young player, just 23 years of age in his second season as he falls behind 3-1 on Frazier. Great movement again. 
runs it back over the outside corner full count Great job Frazier lays off the 2-1 breaking ball down and away So Barrios comes back with a pitch on the same plane and runs it back to the corner knowing his discipline tells him to lay off the breaking ball How many guys do you see with the combination on their two seam fastball of 96 and that much movement? There's not very many with this it like it explodes with that late action and, and you see and that's where you can see when he does struggle when he does get the walks is because that pitch it, half the time you don't even know how much of that action you're going to get on it sometimes it's a couple inches sometimes it's four and then there's the nasty breaking ball to get him uh hk life the with the mariners i left you off the, the sheet there michael when, sorry when about they have that. struggled it's because they let yankees hitters extend the bat so being able to get out and reach pitches the key to being able to get this offense out is to not throw anything middle away and let them put barrel on ball when they've had success it's to get in on them what's the biggest thing you guys have hit so far out of bowman crum you seen especially gene carlos Stanton green Burrios, them being able Miami. to get in and locate that pitch that's when they jason groom Gold Shimmer. Coach K, the Red Sox. Is now back to the top of the order facing Gardner. Walked and scored in the first. Homered in the second. Alberto Torado, Phillies. Dowell Lugo, the Orange Wave, the 25. Yankee nice. Drafted in Orange five. Bernie Williams. Williams. Sick. And that center decent, too. Shoot. 13 out of 25. BGS, that thing. We take a look at the... Brett Gardner home run from back in the second after getting knocked down on the pitch prior. A no doubt at a right that he stared down and then stared at Santana. A big blow at the time for the Yankees. Yeah, how about that stare down too that he gave him? Not just one look, but came back <laughs> as he ran down the line. Slice to left field and dropping for a base hit. The big turn by Gardner back to first. So a man on with a one out. The Yankees already up 5 4, bottom of the floor. Last two. Jay Gross, that was a nice one. And a ground out tonight. 52 home runs on the season, all time rookie record. 15 of them coming in the month of September. How did he turn it around after that six week slump coming out of the All Star break? It was really just about him being able to get. Because when he had success early in the season, he was able to kind of just be that simple hitter. And as the game started moving back for him, Booney, you talked about the timing, how important that was when he struggled and he would chase. He wasn't seeing the ball. Oh, it was because I think mechanically over the winter, he fixed the flaws in his swing, the moving parts that he has as a 6-7 batter. And that's why I really felt like it was a matter of time before he got back, locked back in. Because once you get on time. Then that allows you to lay off the breaking balls that you should down the way. The fastball's up. So everyone was talking about the symptom. He's chasing pitches. Why are you chasing pitches? Because we didn't get a patch in this one. You're not on time, so you're not in position to make good decisions. Got back on time in September. The rest is history. 15 yeah. And a great finish to the season. People love and attention. It's just really hype around Aaron Judge. A lot of color, though. It's crazy to think that his best month mm -hmm. was this last month. That's exactly what the Yankees team needed headed into this game. This guy. Jesus Christ. Good boy, Judge. God, what a missile. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You can hear it. Oh, shit, I think I left it on the... I hope I don't get another copyright straight. <laughs>
Man, what a bullet. Joshua Lowe, blue for the Rays. Their third home run of the night. Five home runs already hit between the two teams. Albert Abreu, refractor auto for the Yankees. Shown by Judge. Yes. Yep. Going around first base. That's not something you typically see. Michael Fulmer, orange. Always very stoic, very calm. No matter 12 out of 25. He's doing great. Or if he's striking out or making a mistake. JTS. Nice car. There. We saw some excitement. A fist pump. From the rookie. He got pumped. Yeah, he did. Guys, he was doing that in the first inning. When Gregorius hit that three-run home, he was... Brian Anderson, nuts. purple shimmer. Activity again in the twin span this time. It is Dylan G. Tough decisions have to be Isaiah made by White. The Bunting. How many bunt poses do you see on baseball cards? Joshua Lowe, refractor. Tula. Nick Gordon. Green shimmer, Jacob of Nottingham. Very waspy, man. Felix George. Twins. Corey Hunter. Anytime you can let Aaron Judge especially gets that front foot down and it's middle. He gets his arms extended. This is exactly where Yankees have done damage this entire game. Anytime they try to come in, they've had success. But when Bobby they Bradley, the ball green. Over the plate, no one hits it harder in the league than Aaron Judge. And look at the emotion. Look at the passion. Hey, it's October. But this is not the Aaron Judge that you see all season long. He's Chris Paddock. Third Yankee rookie to hit. Home Orlando Arcia, blue. Debut, and he's feeling it. G now has been joined by Trevor All right. What's up, Bo Sox, Joe? Right for the Twins. Let's leave these last ones up. We'll do a recap. Meanwhile, the batter is Gregorius. He's got a home run tonight. A three-run shot back in the first inning. Loser goes home, winner goes to Cleveland. Indians, by virtue of having the best record in the American League, host the wild card winner. The Indians announcing today that Trevor Bauer will start game one. Corey Kluber lined up for two and five, which is regular rest. Off day after two, off day after four. Bauer, though, with the ability to come back if needed in relief in game four. All right, here we go. Color first. It's going good. Nottingham. Green shimmer. Arcia blue. Base Bellinger. Stan Clark. Bellinger. Sensel purple. Margo. Freeman blue. Fractor Seeger. Low. Uh, orange Fulmer, 12 out of 25. Gold Shimmer, Jason Groom. Uh, Bernie Williams, orange. Jamie Schultz, gold. Asabe Refractor. Asabe Blue, 70. Couple judges, Refractor Judge. A true story with Keith Schultz, Smith. Orange Marvel Shimmer, crashing down. Derek Jeter, kids, but I was not Miguel Cabrera, to give up. Javier Refractor, high levels of PDL one. I started on Keytruda. Autographs. Keytruda offered patients a longer life than chemotherapy. And Is he a white? Chris Paddock, Albert Torado, Anthony K, John Duplantier, Alfredo Rodriguez, do not have Diaz, Sports, Chris Paddock Green, Gage Hins, Sixto Sanchez, Dowell Lugo, Sixto Sanchez Blue, Vladimir Gutierrez, Nick Banks for Washington. Uh, Albert Abreu, Refractor Auto, Felix George, 
Purple Bryson Brigman, Albert Abreu to 50, Deloria, Azokar, Kopech, Jax, Green, Jose De Leon, and uh, Bradley Zimmer. And that's it on this one. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. Tubers, we'll see you next time. Keytruda for Merck. Ask your doctor about Keytruda with more FDA approved uses for advanced lung cancer than.